Frank, I, those are all the questions that I had. Okay, I want to. Anything you, you want to add? Yeah, I want to tell you about the, sure. about my sister. How my sister kind of told her little brother what he ought to be doing. Uh, oh, this you is know, Ellen, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I was griping to my sister one time over in Arkansas. And this is just the way she was. And I said, Well, we don't have a basketball court or a tennis court at Northeast School which is now Rusa, it was northeast when my kids were going there. And I was really getting about, you know, the idea we got money to do all this other stuff and everything. And my sister looked at me and she said, Frank, why don't you do something about it instead of griping about it? And boy, it just hit me like a lightning bolt. And so I said, we ought to do that. So, to show you the spirit we got in Claremore, I went to Mr. Warren Pixley and Mr. Bob Weber, and I had a fellow that had done a lot of work for us up in Craig County who was a foreman on the uh, Grand River Dam when it was built, and he decided to stay live here. And some other people contributed other other things. There's others that I've, I've that have just failed to mention. And so we built a basketball court, uh, a goal on either end, and a, and a tennis net in the middle. Well, that's still standing today there. So then later on in the high school, our high school courts were terrible. So a bunch of us uh, tennis aficionados, I guess you'd call us, uh, I'm talking about like the Swans and and uh, uh, the uh, Larry Young, myself, and and uh, Doug Young and Beth Young and and uh, all the uh, uh, father of Wonder Woman. I call her. That's one of his daughters. I call her. Call her Wonder Woman. Why? Uh, and, there were, and there were a bunch of others, Jack Gordon, uh, and so many of them, I, I, I'm not going to be able to name all of them, Ron, Ron Scott and his wife Sally, uh, and, and a whole group of others. <clears throat> we all got together, and we just asked ourselves the same thing. Why don't we do something about it? So the school gave us the land to build on, and we raised seventy-two thousand dollars in cash, and uh, uh, Doug Young at that time was the superintendent for uh, the uh, uh, const uh, construction company in uh, Prior, and uh, uh, so uh, he supervised the construction, and the deal we made with the city was that we will provide, we will build the, the three tennis courts, and you provide the electricity free of charge to the, to the school, and the courts will be not only open to the school, but be open to the public. And Williams Construction Company is the one that Doug worked for, and, and they helped out, they contributed too. So we built three nice courts, lighted courts. And, uh, and then in the summertime, what we had happen, was that the pros out in Arizona in the summertime was so hot out there years ago that they had very little to do in the summertime. So a bunch of us got together and we started bringing those pros back here in the summertime. And we'd have a tennis clinic uh, here in Claremore. So anyway, I'm just, uh, the point I'm making is it is amazing when you get people together with, with a common good and a common goal, uh, how much uh, you can get done.